Good morning, guys. Another bit of 3D printing going on here. It's one of those balancing birds. This is the second session. These two were the first session. That's the second session. And then I've got to do the post for it to balance on in the third session. Right then, printed off the balancing bird parts, I've now got to clean them out. Now it's specifically said that I had to use support layers, or at least I'm sure that's what I read, but that's going to be a pain to actually get that out. That centre bit is just support layer. Same on there, and then there's a little bit in the gap there where those are supposed to clip in place. So I will do a bit of tidying up. That looks like it'll come out all right. Bit of gentle persuasion. little holes there so I'm gonna cut some short lengths of this wire to put in those holes and that will help align it when I glue it together there we are, two little pegs well, I have to say I'd underestimated how much um, or how little trimming you need to do to alter the balance. Initially it was terribly tail heavy so I've actually added quite heavy weights to the front here. There's a couple of screws going into the front of the wing tips and then I've added blue tack on them as well and then I decided to sand off some of the rough areas on the tail and that's made it completely nose heavy now or at least with all those weights I've got on it. So just a light bit of sanding on the tail has made a real difference. So if you do one of these, my advice is do all your sanding down and trimming before you decide to try and balance it. I should do a bit more now. Well, to be honest, not quite as successful as I'd hoped. I've spent an awfully long time trying to get the balance right. And... Uh, at this moment, it is balanced. But because I'm using um, blue tack, I've only got to touch it a little bit and that moves its balance position and it goes out of balance again. blowing it to see if I can get it to go round. Mm. No. <laughs> I've got it out of balance again. Alright, we're there again. I've got a few of these in my toy box, or what you want to call it, that I picked up in a charity shop, but they would have come from McDonald's originally. And they balance ever so easily. So, uh, this one's really surprised me how difficult it was to get it right. But I think I've spent enough time on it, so I'm going to leave it now. I mean, the general idea was the back parts you printed with very thin um, layers, so they were lightweight, and then the front two sections are solid, 99% fill or 100% fill. 
so that should have given us the balance but it didn't so I had to add bits onto the wing tips to try and add the weight at the front well, it looks nice if you ignore those wing tips but yeah I'm gonna leave that now that's as far as I'm gonna go on your finger it's okay Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.